Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how I trim my ends. So I thought it's about time that I trim my ends because uh, the last time that I did it was, uh, I think it was somewhere uh, a week before my birthday, before I left to Ghana holidays, I blew dry my hair, or I blew out my hair and uh, I uh, trimmed the ends then. So uh, it's been a good year. So I thought it's about time uh, to do it again. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And uh, for the people who do follow me on Instagram, if you don't follow me on Instagram, go and follow me on Instagram. I'll put it right here or right there somewhere so that you can follow me on Instagram. I have uploaded a new vlog on Instagram. I have decided to be vlogging more on my Insta TV or what is it called? IGTV? Yeah, IGTV. Uh, because uh, I think it's more appropriate to just uh, put a vlog and uh, all those things uh, there. Seriously? <laughs> Say hello to bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <sighs> so, yeah, my son is right here and he's. Uh, making a whole lot of noise but yeah I have to film this video right now so I'm just going to continue and film it right now so yeah if you want to see more vlogs of what I've been up to the past few days uh, I went to Germany with uh, my husband we went to a concert of Stoneboy and I also went to Kwaku festival so if you want to see what is going on follow me on my Insta TV, it's Insta TV or Instagram and uh, you see all those vlogs so let's get straight into the video oh by the way I'll link all the products that I'm going to use in the video um, I'll link it uh, down below in the comment in the description uh, box so do check it out for the people who always ask me what products I'm using for my hair so yeah let's jump straight into the video Hey guys, so these are the tools that you will need in order to trim your hair. You will need a water bottle with water in it. Uh, you also need a water-based uh, leave-in conditioner. You will also need a white tooth comb and uh, a normal comb, like a smaller tooth uh, comb. And you will also need scissors, of course, to cut your hair. I go ahead and uh, separate my hair in four sections as usual. And I go ahead and finger detangle. Well, not really finger detangle. I just uh, loosen up my hair a bit. And then I go ahead and part that section in four sections. After that, I um, spritz it with water. I make sure that uh, my hair does not get wet but it gets mixed enough with water uh, so that I can comb through it. So I just spritz it with a bit of uh, uh, water and then I work the water in the hair, make sure that my hair actually absorbs the water. And then I go ahead and add my uh, leave-in conditioner, which is from Cantu Shea Butter. After uh, adding the leave-in conditioner, I go ahead and uh, detangle it. Uh, I detangle it first with my uh, white tooth comb. After that, I detangle it with my smaller tooth comb to make sure that all the hair is uh, straightened and everything is like where I want it to be in order to uh, cut my ends off. So after the combing, I go ahead and stretch my hair and uh, make sure that everything is uh, it's, uh, got it together and then I cut it off. Uh, in this video, I think I cut about uh, an inch and half off yeah it's about an inch and half and then i go ahead and twist it up after twisting it up i also cut about half an inch off just to make sure that i have gotten to all the splits and so as you can see there the curls are really nice and defined and you don't see the tiny ends at the end anymore and that is my main purpose so i'll go ahead and demonstrate uh, one more time and then probably uh, do everything So yeah, I uh, add uh, my water, just make sure that my hair is damped, not wet. I work the water through my hair and then I go ahead and add uh, a little bit of my leave-in conditioner. I start applying it from the, from the end of my hair to up 
and then I detangle it with my white tooth comb and then I detangle it again with my smaller tooth comb just so that I have all the hair then I pull it down and make sure I have everything I want to cut off and then I cut about an inch and a half up uh, I cut about an inch and a half I then go ahead and twist my hair and then I cut about half an inch off again just to make sure that I go to all the little hair that um, that is in the way of my hair growth I went ahead and finished that section as you can see the hair is really uh, neat and everything is uh, cut off uh, and here actually I'm going to compare it to uh, uh, the part that I haven't cut yet so that you can see how much I cut off and how uh, damaged my ends uh, uh, are actually so like you can see I, I think I cut about uh, two inches uh, of hair off yeah but then again like you can see from the part that I haven't cut you can see that it's really thin so uh, the, the trim is really needed uh, right now So I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish the rest and then I will come back and let you see what it looks like then. So yeah, I have also decided to be trying out uh, different methods uh, to uh, stop my head and uh, my hair from uh, shedding a lot because nowadays uh, my hair shed a lot. I think that when my hair grew a lot uh, at the pregnancy period, uh, those hair are, uh, are starting to fall out. It's not like terribly much, but I noticed that my hair fall out a bit more than uh, uh, usual so yeah i'm going to go ahead and try more remedies that will help me um, maintain uh, my hair growth and uh, so i'm going to try the onion um, i think it's an onion treatment or something like that i'm going to try it for three months and i'm also going to try uh, uh, more home remedies like uh, the okra uh, uh, moisturizing uh, deep conditioner uh, gel yeah the okra moisturizing deep conditioner gel i'm going to try that one and maybe i will also try um was it garlic oh no i'm going to also try uh the rice water mess method i heard that the rice water is also really good uh in uh, maintaining uh your hair growth and all those jars but then it's also a protein treatment so you don't have to go overboard with it so i'm going to uh work out my uh, hair regimen for uh, the winter time and i will let you guys know So as you can see, I'm all done uh, cutting uh, my ends and my hair feels really good. My hair looks really good and healthy at this moment and it feels also really good so I'm happy with it. This is all the hair that I cut off. I know it looks a bit uh, little, but if you have uh, thin, fine, natural hair like mine, that is a lot of hair to uh, lose. Right now, most of you know that my aim is to maintain the length that I have right now because I am not, uh, I am not uh, planning on growing my hair too long. I love my hair at, at this length already, so yeah, I'm doing any, I'm doing everything to maintain uh, my length at this point and work on how to get my hair more thicker than uh, usual. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, if you did enjoy it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.